Marvel's Agent Carter Season 2. Yep, I'm just gonna skip the whole intro thing that I usually do in my videos, because... So the second season of Agent Carter follows Peggy Carter as she goes to Hollywood. She gets transferred to the SSR's Hollywood uh, precinct, branch, office, whatever, which just happens to be run by the lovely Agent Sousa, and Howard and Jarvis also happen to be there. Howard's taking an interest in investing in Hollywood, and I guess he's directing his own movies or something? They're not really clear on that one. But Mr. Jarvis is there, and always delightful, and they go on an adventure. This season, there's a conspiracy going on with a company called Isodyne Industries, which is secretly being run by actress Whitney Frost. When an accident happens at this facility, and affects Whitney Frost, she becomes the true villain of this season of the show as the team tries to stop her from some sort of plot to gain power or whatever, something about zero matter. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was a little bored by this season. Watching this season of Agent Carter felt a little bit like a chore. It kind of lost its edge on me. The first season of Agent Carter had a bit of an edge with its whole, she is a woman in the workplace trying to prove that she is more than what her male coworkers value her. And by the end of the eight episode first season, she completed that task. She did exactly that. So no one in this season regard her as below their level. Even Chad Michael Murray's character in this series, I mean, he's still not likable, but at least, you know, he doesn't regard Carter as less than him or anything like that. There's some stuff in this season about the SSR's purpose, which seems to hint that S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to be created pretty soon. I'm sure I could look up when the actual date S.H.I.E.L.D. was created. I think it was like 1950 or something. The comedy with Mr. Jarvis is actually amped up a bit. He's funnier, James Darcy. There's something, I guess the writing, the writers realize James Darcy has a knack for doing funny scenes. And many of his humorous moments admittedly do work on this show. I just found the plot to be a little weak. Uh, the villain plot was a little boring. I wasn't quite sure what Whitney's objective was on this show, other than, I guess, more power or something. Uh, the stakes were a little lost on me. It just got to a point where I was wondering what the point of this show was anymore. Like, why am I still watching this show? Is she gonna found S.H.I.E.L.D. or not? Can we just fast forward a few years so she can do that? Because that would be really nice. And the reason that would be really nice is it would offer a new dynamic for the show in which it would feel essentially like uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. but 1940. And it would be more of a ensemble cast with Agent Carter at the helm, you know, running S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm waiting for those stories to happen because I find that a lot more interesting than just her being out on her own for a weak-ass organization, or at least that's how I interpret the SSR. I don't really interpret it as anything special, anything more than just a glorified police unit. Ultimately, this season of Marvel's Agent Carter felt a lot more like just simply filler until Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comes back, more so than the first season did. The first season, at least, was kind of about something, and while those themes, those themes of sexism in the workplace and society and stuff like that, do make it to the second season, they're not as prominent and they don't affect the main character. They actually affect more of the villain, but not as much as they affected the main character in the first season. So therefore, the edge of Agent Carter was kind of lost on me. I feel a little bored. And uh, I can't really talk about it in much detail because I don't remember too much. It just kind of went one in one year, out the other year, in the eye, out the brain. Don't... I'm, Sure, that metaphor could work better. The point is, there's a reason why this review is pretty short. Marvel's Agent Carter Season 2 was, for me, a disappointment. If you digged the first season of Agent Carter, like, a lot more than I did, if you, like, if you re loved it, really liked it, you'll probably like the second season. Me, I didn't care for it that much. I was just thinking, when is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. coming back? Thanks for watching my review of Marvel's Agent Carter Season 2, and I'll... See you next time.